Okay, so this is a uh, uh, this is a story uh, about how I lied for the very first time, right? Uh, cause I, I remember watching a, a, a stand up comedy with Louis C.K. saying, uh, you know, let kids lie because they're in trouble and they don't know how to handle the situation. And, and you know what? That is so right. That is so right. And he he goes a story about the first lie I have ever told. Uh, well, well, the first lie that I can remember that I told. And, and how it got started, right, was I was at my grandmother and grandfather's house, right? And I seen a, a pair of keys hanging up. Now, there was a metal circular ring with uh, a, a clown keychain on it and some just regular keys, right? Now, the regular keys, the, I didn't really care for that at all. I just wanted the clown. That's what I wanted, right? So, I got a hold of that. I tried taking the clown off of the, the freaking metal circular thing, right? But I couldn't get it off. So, what I did was, is I, uh, I, I, I took the keys with me, right? I took the clown keychain and the keys with me, right? And about, no, not, uh, the, the, not, not even later that day, here goes my grandmother, just just angry as hell, like, God damn it! I was like, God damn keys at! Where are they at? I'm like, ooh, because the keys that I took, the keys that I took along with the clown uh, on the keys, those were the keys to the shed, and uh, uh, then they couldn't get into the shed because I took the damn keys, right? And uh, my grandmother was just angry, just hauling her, her lungs over there, questioning people. Hey, have you seen the keys? Have you seen the keys? Have you seen the keys? And she even asked me uh, if I took the keys, right? And my grandmother's just, just hollering, just angry as hell, right? And she's like, Dijon, did you take the keys? Did, did, did you take the keys? No. All right, sweetie, you got play. I'm like, Oh my gosh, she actually bought that. She actually bought that. Oh my god, I got away with it. And I know what you guys are saying. You guys are, you guys are thinking is like, Oh, why would you lie to your grandmother? Come on, why would you, why would you lie to your grandmother? Why would you lie to your grandmother? Probably to avoid getting my ass whooped. You know, probably because I didn't want to get my ass whooped with the belt. That, that is like the entire reason why I lied to my grandmother. And uh, as I got older, right, uh, I, I, I started recalling memories from my adolescences, right? Because as you get older, you just start to forget, you know, crap, blah, 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 blah. And I, I looked back to that day, and I was, I was telling my mother about that, right? And my mother was like, y you know, Sean, they, uh, they probably would have gave it to you if you had asked. And, and, and yeah, looking back at it, yeah, there was a very good chance that they probably would have gave me the, you know, clown that was on the freaking circular ring thing. But he, he goes to think I was a little boy at the time. You know, my mind, like, like my mind worked like that. You know, my mind didn't work like that. And, uh, uh, and, 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 and you know what? And, you have to take into consideration that a child's mind is completely different than that of a grown-up's mind, right? And you know, and, and, and I have two nieces, right? Two nieces. Uh, one of them's uh, I can say uh, seven. One of them's three. And uh, I think about a little while, about like two or three years ago, uh, I, w I went up to my oldest niece, right? And I tried explaining the, the, the concept of, of, you know, death to her, right? Because dying is a natural part of life, it's gonna happen to us all. And I, I, I believe the sooner, the sooner the, the, the child grasps that, grasps that concept, the sooner they can go through the phases and learn how to cope with it. Right, so I, uh, I, I, can sat, I sat my niece down, right? Set her down, and I said, um, "One of these days, I, this was this was when she was able to talk. 
Uh, I told her this as soon as she was able to talk and communicate. I, I was telling her this. I told her, <clears throat> uh, you know, they, uh, um, you know, someday, you know, Uncle Sean, he's, um, he's gonna die. Um, and it's gonna happen someday. It's gonna happen, not only happen to Uncle Sean, it's gonna happen to your mother, your father, your grandmother. And eventually, this is gonna happen to every, everyone at some point in time. Even you, you, your life. And, and, and I, I know, and she was really young, but she, she was able to talk. And I, don't, I, I personally don't believe she even fully understood the, uh, you, you, you know, the whole thing I was getting across to her. And I was telling my mother about that. She's like, Deshaun, don't freaking tell her that. I'm like, okay, well, first of all, let me tell you something there, miss. Uh, I, I think I broke it to her a lot more gently than how you broke the news to me. You wonder how she broke the news to me? She sat in me. I, I was like freaking five, six, seven years old at the most here. She sat me my brothers and my, my two sisters down played a video of Jesus Christ getting beaten and tortured on the cross like, like a whole bunch of Roman soldiers just, yeah, yeah, just wailing on them here right freaking making them carry this freaking just board that's just, that's just excruciatingly, excruciatingly heavy just oh, oh, oh. and then freaking just hammering just and in his freaking hand are just right there, or in his wrist. Some people say it's in his hand, some people say it's in his wrist, but either way it goes, there's a freaking nail hammered in him, which is excruciating just at, like there, that's a nail in your body that, that already, doesn't really matter where it's at, the point is it's in your body and hurts like hell. And it's just being hung up, oh, and it's just, just Roman so just, just stabbing him with freaking spears, just rubbing shit in his wounds. And just, just a freaking crawl, like, ah, ah, just poking the guy in the freaking, and they're just screaming in agony, and these people going to hell for just demons, like, <laughs> people just screaming in, in, in freaking pain in hell. And a whole bunch of scary ass things, like, oh, yeah, yeah. And, I, and, I, and I'm a little ass kid, like, like, like I say, like, seven at the most. I think I was probably younger than that, but seven at the most. And I'm like, Ma, is, 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 is this, is, is this real? I'm like, yeah, baby. This is all real. Yeah, that's a place where people go. You think that, you know, you think that was a good way to break the news to somebody who was like freaking six years old, seven at the most. I was not mentally equipped enough to handle I cried not like a bitch the entire freaking time. I cried my eyes out. Got on the phone with my grandma. Like, my grandma was a very devout Baptist Christian mother. I'm like, ah, grandma, I'm scared. <laughs> just crying to my grandmother. Because that's how terrified that I was. That, that's how I found out about heaven and hell, by the way. That's how I found out about not only death, but heaven and hell. That's how I found out. Oh, where do you go, Ma? Because I, I personally believe that I broke the news better to her about death than my damn mother did. Because he, he, here's the difference. Uh, I can make her cry. She can cry a single tear. Uh, when she broke the news to me, uh, I was just crying my ass off. Mainly because of that scary crap that she just... You think that's a good thing to show to your really young kids? You think that's a good way to break the news to them? <laughs> oh, oh my gosh, but... If, 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 if you're not going to uh, really raise your kids religiously, you should at least give them some just concepts of a certain religion. Just, just let them know, just like, all right, you know, some people believe in Christianity, some people believe in Judaism, some people believe in Hinduism, some people believe in Buddha, freaking, some people believe in flying spaghetti monster, like, which, which, which is retarded. That is absolutely retarded. Oh, flying spaghetti monster. I sort I, of, I was watching, I, I was watching Futurama, right? And I, I, I know that little animated comedy series. And I thought this was a joke at first. I thought this was a joke. But no, no, this is actually a thing. I, 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 
freaking I, I look I looked into this. Freaking this like this freaking spaghetti. I swear, I swear, dude. It looks like spaghetti. Like sp like and it's like it's floating with eyes. Flying spaghetti monster. I, I'm not even joking. In, in, in there was a reported case. Like I'm not making any of this up. You can you, you go ahead and Google it. Go, Google it if you don't believe me here. Uh there was just a freaking just a this person took it of a, of a pasta where you put the the, the sp spaghetti in on top of their heads on their driver's license because they believe in spaghetti monster. Okay, but but that's that's not the dumbest thing. That is not the dumbest thing that I've ever seen people do, because I, I was on TikTok, right? And I and I believe this. There, there was that, like some 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 lady that threw bleach in her eyes because she felt like she was handicapped. They, they they call it trans handicapped. And then it was just do that cough and arm because I, I I felt like I was missing out. What? Now, changing your sex, I get that, right? Some people sometimes people tweak their 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 facial structures. I'm I'm like they bleach their skin, they get melanin injections, you know, to change their race. But okay, that's just you know you're you're still originally that race. I'm like, yeah, you look a different race, but genetically, when you look into your genetic material, you're still that original race that you were born with. You know that, right? Uh, but 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 whatever, whatever. Go ahead, tweak tweak your appearance, like, like honestly, honestly. Like, but when you when you start just hacking away at yourself, or just bleeding, like, oh come on. Come on, that, that, that's just pure insanity. Really, that's just, that is just really, just... That's insane! That is really insane. Oh my goodness. It's, it's a good thing that my uh, grandmother wasn't, isn't, isn't, isn't still alive to hear all of this. She's like, oh, what a shame. Oh, honestly, honestly. Oh my goodness! But you know, I like I I I really do miss my grandmother. I really do miss it. She was nice, nice and loud, a very loud woman, right? Trust me, she would walk into the room. Trust me, you'll know she's there. Honestly, I loved her so much, and it was just just, just she, she can be a bit overwhelming at times. I was like, I remember I was just a little ass kid, like oh my god, I want that shot, just just. just Fucking pinching, I literally pinched the shit out of my cheeks. I'm not making this up, she, she pinched the shit out of my cheeks. As a little kid, really. And I, and, and my, my, my grandmother, uh, she's a uh, Polynesian, Hawaiian, uh, Portuguese, and could, could have sworn she said Irish. Could have I personally believe she said Irish. Could have sworn she said Irish. I remember this guy, I asked her what she was. Who, who, who I for sure? Polynesian Hawaii, of course, sure, that's for sure. She took an insane amount of pride of, in that. Uh, in Portuguese, I know Portuguese. Maybe I, yeah, I'm just going to let him say she said Irish. And uh, we had a cookout, like a barbecue cookout, uh, on her side of the family, right? And uh, it, it was, it was a, um, it was a Polynesian style cookout, right? Um, and <laughs> I, 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 I should you not hear. There, 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 we went to this Polynesian style cookout. There was this entire pig, like, 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 like just from the head to toe, entire pig. Nothing was missing. The entire pig was on there, roasted. Was just in a, an apple in his mouth. I'm like, never seen some crap. I was so little, never seen it. I got it creeped me out. Like, oh, I'm not sure if I still wanted to eat it after that, but I was forced to. I was forced to eat it. I was kind of forced to eat the piggy, but whatever. But it was really all that bad. I actually liked it. I actually liked it. In all honesty, and uh, 
And I've been looking into uh, Polynesian traditions, and actually, the, the, it's it's very critical in Polynesian and Hawaiian tradition. Purport the, 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 that's actually actually very important to their roots, and a lot of uh, chiefs, mainly the higher status region region, ugh, if I can talk, uh, the mainly the chiefs. I, I'm like the lower class, at like eight poor, but very rarely because they can just barely afford it. And mainly the chiefs would, uh, you know, partake in the pork. And if, if you know, the chief was to offer you something and you deny it, uh, that's a good way to offend the chief. And he's like the highest ranking. So yeah, you don't want to do that. You know, you don't want to offend, you know, the chief, right? And uh, I don't be looking into, uh, you, you know, my uh, Italian... And uh, you know Hawaiian culture for a, a while now, and th th this blew my mind. Like the majority of my life, I I, I, I didn't even find this out until like two months ago. The majority of my life, I thought, okay, it was just those five islands of Hawaii. Oh, yeah, okay, well, it's great. Uh, turns out I actually know there's a lot more than just those five islands. Want to know how many there is? Want to know how many? There's 137 islands of Hawaii. Yeah, that's a lot more than just five right there. A lot more than just five. Blew my mind. And pretty much, well, what, 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 what Hawaii is, it's just, it's it, it, it pretty much, if you want to just, you know, dumb it down, it's pretty much just a big ass volcano with people in it. That's pretty much, that's pretty much what uh, the islands of Hawaii is. Couple of big ass volcanoes that just erupted and piled on each other for the span of millions of years. Blah 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 blah. Uh, I'm not a geologist here, but I'm, I'm just going based on what I've been hearing here. But uh, pretty much what it is, it's just a big ass volcano with a whole bunch of people living on it, right? I'm like, oh wow, that's cool. That that got be good news. That must be very explosive volcanoes. Actually, no. Believe it or not, Hawaii is not the most volcanic, the volcanically active uh, region in the world. You want to know? Want to know what the, is the most volcanically active place in the world? Southern Italy. Southern Italy is 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 is, is the most volcanically active. Place on Earth. I, I know, like, there's people living on a big ass volcano. Oh, actually, no, freaking all the way over there on the other side of the planet in southern Italy, which is where my grandmother, uh, uh, Pittman, or, or grandmother, uh, Quarantino, is from. She's from uh, the southern region of Italy, uh, Naples, Italy, uh, Napoli, Italia, to, uh, to, to, uh, to, to just, uh, just, just to say it in, in, in Italian, you know, mi nonna ida da Italia. Italia. I'm, I'm sorry, I kind of wanted to speak in Italian. I want to show off my, my, my language skills. I'm on, 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 so I've, been, I've been studying Italian for a very long time. I just wanted to show off there. But anyways, um, that's where my uh, my grandmother on my dad's side's from. I'm like, really? That blew my mind. No, I'm sorry, I really did. That, that, that blew my mind. And that, that that's where... Uh, my great Zia Rosaria, or, or our great aunt Rosaria, I call, I call her Zia Rosaria. Uh, that's where she's currently living. Oh, I'll be scared. I would be scared to live there. I always dreamed of uh, going over there, blah, 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 blah. But after hearing that, yeah, it kind of changes my mind. Kind of changes my mind a lot. Uh, yeah, you know, it, it's, it's amazing how quickly people change their minds when they hear a specific detail about a certain subject. Honestly, it, it, it's, lazy. it's like, it's like saying, uh, uh, oh my god, that guy punched me in the nose and broke my nose. What? You punched your nose and broke your nose? <laughs> Hey, uh, what's this I hear about, uh, you punching him in the nose, breaking his nose? What? What? 
What are you talking about? Yeah, you said you punched him in the nose and broke his nose. Well, well, no. okay, well, yeah, I punched him in the nose and broke his nose, but here was the thing. Uh, did you tell you the part where he hit me with a two by four, then I got up, swung, and broke his nose? Did you tell you that part? No, actually, he didn't tell us that part. He didn't tell us the part where you hit him with a two by four, then he broke your nose. See, it's, it's weird. It's weird how quickly things change when you know the whole story. You know, like saying, oh my god, that person right there killed another person, blah, 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 blah. It was just like, here about you killed another person. I'm like, well, yeah, I killed him, you know, by accident. And the only reason why that happened was because of out of self-defense, he tried to attack me. I just wanted him to leave me alone. So I fought back and I accidentally killed him. I'm like, oh, well, that changes everything. But, but you know, most of the time, most of the time people don't really ask to see what your side is. A lot of times people don't ask you. A lot of people don't really have the common courtesy to ask you. Now, that's just a courtesy to hear your side of the story, which the majority of the time people don't. But then again, you also gotta take into consideration that, huh, if I told, if I go and I tell so and so that this individual said this and that, that could quite possibly lead to instigation and make the situation worse because if I told him I said this uh, he'll probably seek out revenge huh you have to take that into consideration now but it's crazy but you know that's all I really have to say for this video uh, if you guys stuck around uh, just uh, make sure to check out my YouTube channel uh, you know share like uh, that would be greatly appreciated uh, hope you guys liked my little stand-up routine I did right here. Uh, and you guys have a good one. Take it easy.